Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 12th of October 1928, an iron lung respirator was used for the first time at Boston Children's Hospital. Philip Drinker was an industrial hygienist at the Harvard School of Public Health. Having been called to consult on a problem with the air conditioning system in the children's hospital, he was struck by the sight of children with paralysed diaphragms due to polio struggling to breathe. Realising that an artificial respirator would help polio victims, as well as people affected by coal gas poisoning, he collaborated with his colleague Louis Shaw Jr. to develop what would become the iron lung. It consisted of a large airtight metal cylinder that encased a patient's body and used the principle of negative pressure to help them breathe. An electric motor powered air pumps from vacuum cleaners to reduce the internal pressure inside the device, pulling air into the patient's lungs. Reversing the motor would increase the pressure and allow the patient to exhale. The Drinker Respirator had its first clinical trial at Boston Children's Hospital on the 12th of October 1928. An eight-year-old girl with respiratory failure due to polio was placed inside the device and began to breathe normally less than a minute later. The iron lung went into commercial production before the end of the year. Drinker's design was improved by John Emerson in 1931 and it was his cheaper and lighter version that began to fill hospital wards during the polio epidemics of the 1930s and 40s. The subsequent development of a polio vaccine in the 1950s reduced the need for iron lungs, but even in the 21st century, they're still used in situations where more modern positive pressure ventilators would be inappropriate. <laughs>